Hey guys, so for my final project, I decided to do this painting. It's called um, Self-Portrait with Monkey, and it's by a Mexican artist. Um, her name is Frida Kahlo. So this was created in 1938. Um, Frida Kahlo was part of, many people say, the naive Miocenidad and Surrealism movement. Um, although, when asked, she never really saw herself as a Surrealist artist. Um, the dimensions of this painting are 40.6 centimeters by 30.5 centimeters. Um, so this was originally created um, because it was commissioned by A. Cogner Goodyear, which um, he was the president of the Museum of Modern Art in New York City at the time. And so this painting is currently at the Albright Knox Art Gallery in Buffalo, New York, and it is an oil on Masonite painting. I'm not sure if I said that right, but um, so going on to talk about the painting itself and the elements of art, I'm going to only highlight a few, a couple of elements and principles of design in this painting. So to begin, I want to primarily focus on the lines and colors that are used, which are the two main elements that are um, that Frida Kahlo used in this one specifically. Um, so the lines, as you can see, form boundaries that separate various elements of subject matter of the painting. Um, so the leaves that are around her and herself and the monkey that's sitting next to her. Um, as you can see also, the repeatedities of lines portray various textures, um, as seen in the monkey and his fur, which gives off a, a soft texture, or the leaves in the back, which seem viney or, um, almost like fuzzy. Um, I think the exotic landscape reflects a connection to, um, nature and environment between Frida and um, it ties in the climate of Mexico, which is actually where she grew up and lived. Um, lastly, the lines that are seen, if you look closely, there's, um, lines depicted, um, depicting facial hair, if you see on her upper lip and on the side of her face, and this portrays a combination of masculine and feminine features, which is very much like Frida Kahlo because she was known for her confidence in feminism and her sexuality. So she was very open with that. Um, so she was actually well known for her, her unique use of bright colors. Um, as you can see, this painting primarily focuses on a um, naturalistic palette with just a use of browns and greens to kind of depict that jungle look. Um, the darker ribbon was um, that's used in her hair strongly connects herself, like I said, to nature and lush vegetation. Um, now moving on to well, the principles of design, I wanted to just highlight how she provided unity and variety in this. Um, it's very interesting because, like I said before, there's a depiction of the jungle background, but at the same time, it seems as though the plants and leaves that are growing behind her, it seems like they don't kind of go, they wouldn't. Like, you wouldn't see them grow together naturally. And so, it almost form, forms, like, an uncomfortable environment. Um, and so, the last point on the principles would be the focal point that I thought I, um, I perceived. And so, I think it would fall on Frida Kahlo herself, and specifically her glare, like, with her eyes. Her dark brown eyes are fixed, um, staring directly towards the viewer which holds strong intensity and emotion, which I think um, did a great job at portraying that. So now going on to talk about the context and meaning of this painting, uh, Frida Kahlo had the tendency to create self-portraits that focused on herself to portray um, her life stories and emotions. Um, you can see this is strongly portrayed through her facial expression and symbolism that she used. Um, we can see the image depicts a stern woman who has a monkey on her shoulder who is um, embracing her. And in me Mexican mythology, actually, the monkey is a symbol of lust and fertility, which is almost ironic because, um, well, Frida had many pets in her home, specifically the spider monkey. And I say it's ironic because unfortunately she was unable to, she never had the opportunity to bear children because of an injury she suffered. And so, um, I think she used this connection to portray that pain and suffering and emptiness that she was experiencing because of that. 
And so, but it's interesting because monkeys are usually seen as very, um, what's the word? Um, well, as I said, in the Mexican mythology, they're seen as lustful. Um, but Frida actually portrayed the monkey as very protective and gentle. Um, and her work was strongly influenced by her Mexican culture. Like I said, she was, um, born in Mexico and she lived there for her life. Um, and she actually married the, um, muralist Diego Rivera, um, and had an interesting relationship with him. Um, but I just think that Frida Kahlo was a strong woman and artist that, um, did an amazing job at portraying her pain and suffering and just emotions that she experienced throughout her lifetime. And that can be seen through various of her other, um, works of art. And I just, I had a blast, um, analyzing and looking at this painting. I think it's great. And as a woman, honestly, I can kind of empathize with, um, the emotions that she must have been feeling. So I think she's a great artist. So thank you guys.